It has been five years since I visited France. This time I'm going with a friend and we'll be spending four days in Paris and then one day trip to Strasbourg. I'm super excited to bring you all along. On the way to Paris, we did have an eight hour layover in Philly. The day was gloomy and it was raining outside. So we decided to enjoy the American Express lounge, which was unlimited food, beverages, and we were able to comfortably relax there which was a plus. And finally, we were off to Paris during the evening time. We arrived to Paris around 8 a.m. and it took us about two hours at the airport from our plane to get our bags, get adjusted, buying metro tickets, and then to finally get on the metro train to get to our hotel. to our hotel around 10 30 a.m i believe and the room was not ready so we got ready at the hotel and then finally starting the day by heading down to the eiffel tower for a lunch reservation Our lunch spot was so gorgeous. It was along the Seine River that overlooks the Eiffel Tower, beautiful surrounding all around. It was just wonderful. And I can see how busy this restaurant can be around the springtime, the summertime, because it is right by the Eiffel Tower. The food was amazing and they had delicious wine. lunch we decided to enjoy the area around the Eiffel Tower walking across the street taking pictures it was such a wonderful day the weather was perfect as well <laughs> the Eiffel Tower we headed down to the Arc de Triomphe we walked the underground pathway that they had and then we enjoyed the area for a little bit however we didn't stay here too long just because we were very tired and we were getting hungry and so we decided to head back to our hotel to see if the room was ready and this is our first time seeing our room everything is so so beautiful the wallpaper the decoration just overall it is such a great layout perfect color combination we are very pleased with our hotel selection <gasps> oh my gosh Ashley oh uh, this is just beautiful oh my gosh we have the rooftop <gasps> no way <gasps> the sunset
unpacking and resting for a little bit we headed down to get dinner which was literally two minutes walk from our hotel i found this restaurant through researching and it is a family-owned restaurant such a small intimate vibe and the food was amazing i got three course meal and their french onion soup was the best french onion soup i have ever tried in my entire life and their main dish and the dessert was amazing as well day two i decided to wake up early to see the sunrise unfortunately due to the cloudy day i did not see the sunrise however i got ready and then went to breakfast i absolutely love the breakfast area it's like its own little cave the curvy detail of the structure it was so so beautiful and they had amazing breakfast selection which i got to enjoy every piece of it that i tried was delicious i love me some smoked salmon so that was one of the things that i ate every day Afterwards, we headed down to see the Museum d'Orsay. It is vast with diverse arts and history. Everything they had displayed was just so wonderful. I love the detail of the building and every art and structure that they displayed was just wonderful. I thoroughly enjoyed my time here. Afterwards, we decided to walk to the Louvre across the street. It was a wonderful walk with beautiful view along the way. We were very hungry and also in need of coffee. It was right around lunchtime. However, because the Louvre was so close by, we decided to check the Louvre out, enjoy our time there for a little bit before heading down to get some lunch. Oh, the Christmas trees at the Louvre are ready. Pretty. We are hungry and in need of coffee however there's no coffee nearby so we're just gonna hang out for a little bit and then get some lunch right now <gasps> oh, it is so so beautiful it took us over 30 minutes to get to this restaurant and then we had to wait outside before seated luckily they were able to sit us and the food was authentic and delicious we had the best time here. Mm -hmm. Afterwards,
Afterwards, my friend spotted a matcha place right around that block and I wish I had enough room in my stomach to order something because this place looked absolutely wonderful and it seems like they would have amazing food. Hopefully, maybe in the future, I would have to come back. Oh my gosh! Beautiful! Oh! Wow! Yes! After enjoying our wine, we decided to head down to the Gallery Lafayette to go up to the rooftop to see the Eiffel Tower. It overlooks the beautiful Paris and also when the Eiffel Tower lights up. <laughs> dinner at Coco which was so so wonderful initially we were the first guests to arrive and then within minutes all the folks arrived and the restaurant was filled with guests the food was just so amazing their champagne was delicious they had a band that came and played for the rest of the evening it was such a wonderful experience it was magical Absolutely love it here. Good morning. It is Thursday. We had breakfast had a slow morning and now we're on to Basilica it is very hilly so we're walking very slow there it is all the way to the top for day three my friend and I decided to do a day trip to Strasbourg so that will be on a different vlog so for this morning this is a day four for us where we're just having a casual day with not much plan in the agenda just because we didn't want to be too tired so after breakfast we went to Montmartre and our first stop was at the Basilica this is definitely one of my favorite spot to visit and such a great spot for people watching in the spring and summer it gets very very busy after people watching we decided to go inside for a little bit to enjoy the architecture it was a loveliest of time <laughs> By the time that we got done at the basilica we got very hungry so we decided to head down this bakery that i've been wanting to try that is supposed to be a very famous bakery delicious pastry stuff so we ordered a bunch of stuff there we actually ate there because we didn't have enough time to go elsewhere <music> The 
this was my first exhibit to see this artwork. The exhibit that they had was for Cezanne in Provence and I have never seen an exhibit like this before and oh my goodness it was so wonderful. I love the detail, the artwork, the music, the creativity. It was so well done. For dinner, we wanted something very close by to our hotel just because we have been so tired with lots of walking and we did not want to walk any further. Luckily, our hotel has lots of selection for delicious restaurants. So we decided to just walk in this restaurant because they had great reviews. I decided to order a beer instead of wine just because I have not had a beer in Paris and it was such a wonderful surprise. They have amazing beer as well and I'm so glad but I tried it because it blended in so well with my dish. I cannot believe that today is our last day in Paris. The time flew by very fast and I felt like I haven't had much time in Paris. It just shows that I love Paris so much and I look forward to visiting back more in the future. having a solo day this morning and it is absolutely beautiful the weather is just wonderful i mean oh look at this the roses it is so beautiful and peaceful. I love it here so much. <sighs> I am near the back right now and uh, I just took some pictures but look at the building behind me oh I'm about to go inside I am so so excited there's some beautiful things inside but the outside is so gorgeous can you imagine the spring and summers lots of beautiful flowers roses as well I have to come back for sure It was around lunchtime and I got extremely hungry. Luckily, I walked past a Thai restaurant. I walked in literally about 10 minutes before they closed, but they were so kind enough to allow me to dine there. I was all alone in the restaurant. I decided to get the papaya salad and the roasted duck curry, and it was amazing. This is an authentic Thai restaurant. It is so, so delicious. I highly recommend if you're in Paris looking for a an authentic Thai restaurant. This is the place.
finally I met up with my friend at Notre Dame because we had a river cruise that we wanted to enjoy. From here we walked to our cruise dock, got on the cruise and just enjoyed the Sien River cruise. We got to see beautiful Eiffel Tower lit up as we enjoy the water and the view. It was such a wonderful last day experience. We're on a boat right right now and this is a hop on hop off boat. We start on Notre Dame and then we'll just enjoy the rest of the ride here. After the cruise we got very tired and also it was raining as well so we decided to go to the mall to look for a purse that I've been wanting to get sadly they did not have the purse there so we decided to just call it a day and decided to get dinner <music> For dinner, as our last day in Paris, we decided to get Italian. We looked online and saw amazing review. The restaurant was busy, small, intimate, and really enjoy our time there. The meal was just phenomenal, and I love my wine selection. flight home I did have a layover in Iceland I got to see the beautiful view of Iceland their sunset was just magnificent Hopefully in the future I will get to see Iceland but in the meantime I hope you all enjoy my Paris trip until next time have a wonderful day mm -hmm.